Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mary Brown tries to tell Cody and his wife, Robin Brown, about her business intentions in E.T.'s exclusive sneak peek footage. When discussing her business plans with her estranged husband Cody Brown and his lone surviving wife Robin Brown, Mary Brown feels anxious. Mary informs her longtime friend Jen in the exclusive sneak peek clip for Sunday's episode of Sister Wives that she intends to relocate the apparel portion of her company from Flagstaff, Arizona, to Utah, where she manages her late mother's B&B. &B. Robin, Mary acknowledges, is the only one who's really going to care and is honestly going to kind of have a problem with it, so I need to let her know. The idea causes me a lot of concern, she continues, but Jen reassures her that Robin will understand. I'd like my relationship with Cody to get to a place where we have a good marriage relationship, but that's not where it is right now, Mary says candidly. And I feel like he's going to think I'm done with this relationship when I tell him I'm moving my business up to the B&B, &B, and that's not where I am, she continued. Mary was Cody's first wife, but since her 2015 catfishing scandal, the two have been on bad terms. Cody divorced Mary in 2014 so that he could officially wed Robin in an effort to adopt her children from a prior union. Robin has been quite distraught over the family's breakup since Janelle Brown and Christine Brown's divorces in 2021 and 2022, respectively. The tragic consequence is currently being depicted in season 18 of the TLC reality series about the Brown family. Fans of Sister Wives are now aware that Mary and Cody's union fails in the end. Mary and Cody announced that they had permanently terminated their marriage in a joint statement in January. Leon Brown, a child of Mary and Cody, came out as transgender in 2022. How style how is Christine Brown of Sister Wives received criticism for filling a $770,000 home with unnecessary Halloween decorations that cost eight insane $5,000. On her Instagram page, the 51-year-old posted a video showcasing her decor. Christine said, Hey, I love holiday decorating, but I don't really enjoy decorating the exterior when it's chilly outside or anything like that, but I still want to be really festive, right? So, I installed these constant lights. I've seen these before and have always wanted these. The Sister Wives actress's $770,000 home was illuminated in blue and red behind her. Her awnings were completely covered and the lights illuminated the front of her house. The TLC celebrity was using a Halloween preset, one of thousands of options. So, I have lights on all year long, she continued. I am really happy. Check that out. It's adorable. All I need to do for Christmas is reprogram it using my phone. Some of Christine's admirers claim that the permanent lights cost her about $5,000. Looks cool, one person said. Not feasible, dollar 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 for the majority of individuals. I hope you don't have neighbors across the street, commented another. People may be disturbed by these lights. The HOA freaked out because we have this on our house, a third person remarked. They had better get accustomed to it since we won't be taking them down because we paid $15,000 for them. Yet another individual remarked, very nice, but the average person cannot afford these lights. A fifth remarked, I wish they were less expensive. The cost is completely out of control. The U.S. Sun has learned that Christine and David Woolley recently moved into their brand new home in Utah. She bought a house with David, 59, a few weeks before they got engaged in early April. The couple signed the deed on March 15, according to private real estate records that the U.S. Sun has access to. The house is over 4,200 square feet in size, has four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. It is situated in Lee. The home has new carpeting upstairs and laminate wood flooring throughout. The spacious gourmet kitchen has white cabinetry, a quartz countertop island, and hanging lights. The Jordan River, the East Mountains, and Mount Timpanogos are all well seen from their garden. The void of Christine and David's new house purchase was initially announced by Crystal Ball. Exclusive to Sister Wives, Christine seeks out someone who Cody never was by hiring a matchmaker. In the upcoming episode of Sister Wives, Christine Brown is ready to start dating again, and TitoDA.com has an exclusive glimpse of the scene. 
The recently divorced reality star admits that she has engaged a matchmaker to help her find love once more in the episode dubbed the understatement of the year, even though she is a little cautious to jump into a new relationship after her marriage to Cody Brown. I'm incredibly anxious about dating, incredibly anxious about dating, and I'm not ready, she confesses in a private moment. My marriage was not very intimate, so I had no desire to put myself out there once more. I'm not ready, therefore no. Christine Brown claims that her pattern for a man is basically the opposite of that of her ex-husband, Cody Brown. I just want someone who's a partner, a good communicator, and someone who's amusing, and Cody was never that for me. A sense of humor would be wonderful, she says. Christine Brown reveals she is speaking with a matchmaker while meeting with her children Aspen Thompson and Mikelty Padron and their husbands Tony and Mitch. So this time, I'm defiantly aiming for a monogamous relationship. I'm done with polygamy, she declares. Good, particularly because I believe that after trying polygamy just once, what's the point? Says my Kelty Padron. For me, no. It did, but I won't say it didn't since I won't regret my current situation. You realize? I don't regret polygamy at all because I gave birth to all of you guys, she explains. Christine Brown claims that she had been honest with her matchmaker about her circumstances back in her confessional. I told my matchmaker everything, including the fact that I was a polygamist, leaving Cody, and having children. They may as well be fully informed. Then they can sort of pick and choose what they believe would be a good thing to start with, she explains. The reality star then uses about her previous union and her approach to life post-polygamy. It took me a while to finally go. I finally left after several years. I decided to leave our church in a formal manner. I plan to leave my marriage in style. She continues, and I was going to do it without resentment. That doesn't mean I'm never annoyed, never angry, never disappointed, and I don't like all the control that happens, the speaker said. I'll continue to behave as formally as I can. Christine Brown has fallen in love since the production of this season of Sister Wives. Christine Brown disclosed that she had resumed dating in January 2023. She informed her fans of David Woolley the following month and declared herself to be off the market. The couple announced that they were engaged in April 2023. Christine Brown said that she met her fiance on the dating website Stir.com when season 18 of Sister Wives debuted. She has a vision of the ideal man, which her fiance happens to perfectly embody. I want bald, tattoos and driving a motorcycle. The tattoos would be great simply because they represent Cody's polar opposite. Maybe not on purpose, she admits in the video. Look no further if you're trying to find a place to watch and view Sister Wives Season 4 online. After Robin delivers birth, Cody asks that all of his women spend Christmas together in one house. Even though he makes an effort to spend time with each of his lovers separately, things could not work out well and might cause envy. Christine spoke up in favor of Mary on Sunday's show, saying that she had watched Cody string Mary along for years. She continued, I saw that he would have done the same thing to me if I would have stayed, saying it was mean and cruel. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.